Okay, so the first change that you'll see is I have added these tabs to the top so that way I can refer back to the previous months which has been extremely helpful so I got mine at the container store a lot of different companies make these now you can even make your own um, and they're just really helpful I like these though because they're plastic they're really sturdy so if I throw this in my bag they're not gonna bend too easily um, and you can also see how much wear and tear my bullet journal has it's gotten quite dirty of the bullet journal there are colored little flags and this is my color coding system to help me refer back to notes that I've taken because I was starting to use this for literally everything and I was losing notes and the index wasn't really a quick enough find for me so you can see that anything um, labeled is also in kind of this, a similar spot so like a lot of the blues I put towards the top of the paper and basically what this enables me to do is find these notes. So like if I'm looking for stuff from a movement, I know it's up here. Let's try something else. Um, something that doesn't have important information on it. So blog redo. So I know this is May movement. And then if I really wanted to remember to go back to these notes, these are the, just the little post-it flags and you can, you know, I can have a, um, little memo on there to know exactly what it is. Now this is the biggest change that I've made to my bullet journal system and this is a weekly spread. This was helping me to see everything in my life in a nutshell and I've switched it up a little bit. This was the first one that I had done and I'll just kind of briefly explain what it means. So. Up here I have the priority list, so these are the top five things that I had to get done this week and I'm really hoping there's nothing too personal on here, but I also decided to put down some things that I needed to do soon and use the exact same icons or indicators that the bullet journal is um, known for having. And then down here is craving, this is sort of like a meal planner menu planner but I don't ever stick to them so it was more just like what do I want to have this week and let's see if it ends up happening a quote that um, or just something to inspire me throughout the week this I did end up changing this was just things that I was trying to track um, or things that I was gonna do throughout the week um, and it was like TV shows and stuff um, I'm gonna show you how I switched this spot and then over here this is things that I needed to buy and this was things that I was going to do in the home. This is some things that were coming up, so things that were like coming in the mail or things that I needed to do soon. Not necessarily task, um, task oriented, just things that I needed to kind of remind myself about. This was expenses. This is great because I really did get to see what I spent in a week and it was kind of scary. Then um, a reflection page. Okay, so then I continue to just do spreads like normal. So, you know, I have a September spread here. And then I'll show you how I changed this. The next time that I did this, I decided to put my grocery lists in here for the week um, and then pretty much kept it the same except instead of the priority list over here I started doing a weekly schedule so that I also could see where I was going so that way I could prioritize better so Monday through Sunday and then just kind of um, very vague little notes about where I was going or what I had to do still similar um, spread except now I have put a goal section down here, which um, I was going to try to do yoga that week because I've been trying to do it every week. Um, and then also a little social media tracker. And so basically I just made the reflection area a little smaller. And then in the buy section, um, I realized I was doing a lot of like eBay stuff and Poshmark stuff and trying to sell my iPhone and I was trying to keep track of everything that was coming in and out. So this was a buy and sell section now. So I started implementing more color and stickers into my bullet journal just so that I could really see what I had to do for different things, like different 
um, categories have different colors for me. And I'm going to be doing a very fun collaboration with the Alex Studio from Etsy. She makes awesome stickers for your Erin Condren and Philofaxes. And some of these are hers, actually all of them are hers. But I'm just using these little teardrops to do, um, to mark for to-dos. And then I have my goals section and my reminders. And this is just a sneak peek of what's to come from her. I'm really excited to share some more um, things with you guys about that. So that is how I am currently using the stickers. Then we get to October and I kind of switched up my goal section before. So, so before I wasn't prioritizing my goals, I just kind of wrote them all out, but this way um, I have them on um, or divided by you know the genre. So work, home, and personal. And then I decided to put the monthly tab here so that way it was easier for me to flip to because I was real I realized I wasn't really using it um, or referring to it because it wasn't easily accessible. Now this is something new that I've been doing because I realized I was trying to keep up with my project life and I just can't um, you know dedicate time to working on it every month so I'm gonna do a different thing for November for this but I just wanted to try it out by having a project life planner in here so basically what this is is I just dated everything things that I did like a quick little snippet of what I did that day and what I have to remember so like if it was a picture a receipt something like that that is how I was keeping track of that and I clearly am not doing a great job Okay, so the last thing that I have done, which has really, really helped me, um, is added bookmarks. And the reason I did this was it felt like this was becoming an overwhelming system where I was losing track of information. So then it became not as productive. So I started adding some of these little magnetic clips to um, my pages. So I keep the notebook bookmark in the daily pages, the tabs are on my monthly goals, and then on the spreads, I put a little magnetic clip and then that just helps me to see you know exactly what I'm doing because I can see every single thing that's relevant and current. So as you can see I have added some new task um, indicators. I have um, <clears throat> so I have a or at least the ones that I tend to use the most would probably be the emails and the appointments and then these are all of your basic um, bullet journal um, indicators. I can't talk today. Now in um, conjunction with my bullet journal I still have two other planners. I have my Philofax and my Erin Condren which I will be doing videos on those um, to update you guys on how I use all three of them and kind of my setup and what I've been doing that works for me. I also have a really fun giveaway and collaboration coming for you guys so stay tuned for that but um, I just wanted to give you a quick run through that the Weekly spreads that I've been doing just to keep my, my daily lists, they haven't changed at all. It's just a brain dump for me and the occasional little to-do. Um, so pretty much the same thing except I added these tabs up here, the side tabs, and a weekly spread to keep myself more organized. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you have some other tips for bullet journals, let me know. I'm always changing mine up and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Bye.